copy of Valkyria Chronicles. So in the off time, I went and did the uh, scout trial that I had been having trouble with, and it gave me quite a bit of XP and quite a bit of money. And I believe I found out while I was researching it that that's part of like the DLC, like the trials, which explains it. And uh, it gave me a really good uh, weapon for the scouts, the ZM Car 8, where just looking at it, it uh, I had the uh, S1 equipped, I believe. Um, yeah, equip all units. Uh, but you can see, like, it loses quite a bit of range, uh, over a hundred, but it also multiplies the damage it does to people by four, and nearly doubles the versus armor. And that's why I'm putting it on her, because, uh, it's just useful to have, and a lot of the time, as a scout, I'm not shooting from, like, the maximum distance, I'm more or less just jumping into their face and annihilating them that way and having that re and because it's DLC you have to imagine that that's like the intended weapon unless it's like end game stuff um so I might try future uh future DLC things like the trials off screen as well because I'm not going to treat this like this guy and do all the DLC on screen uh just because it would uh it would be a while just going through all those and failing and figuring out how to best do them. Um, I'm going to put precedence on my snipers right now. And try and get them to elites as well. Okay, new order. All units aim, so that's all units accuracy. That's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um... And I will bump up the shock troopers uh, again. I'm just trying to get all my units to decently high levels, especially the most useful ones. Because engineers, I'm sure, are useful. Uh, I'm just not sure how right now. Lancers, I've read that they don't... Like, they are kind of useful, but because of all the downsides where... They really only have the lance, and like a secondary weapon they get is like a really high level one. Like you have to level up the class quite a bit. Uh, I already went to R and D. Uh, didn't really buy anything. I already went to Castle Front. Didn't buy anything. But because the lancer's secondary weapon only comes into the picture so late in its like level system, I I just don't think it's it's gonna be worth it to uh, try and get them leveled up really quickly. So let's just start this and see how it goes this episode. Microphone, come closer to me. Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Welkin. You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent honors. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Garia, are descended from the Valkyrie. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randbreeze tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. Man, I wanna go I wanna go watch birds instead of, you know, meet the king and princess uh what's this i hope they don't mess this up sorry to keep you captain 
goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. It's the hat. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice? Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Okay. So let's get in on this shit. What drama is about to be unleashed? Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline. And my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, Your Highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the Foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa? Well... There's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio. 
I will agree that that is kind of garbage. Uh, let's be not neutral anymore. Huh. I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Princess Cordelia! I... I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please, forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. She's a stick in the mud. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. Ooh. You're evil. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. W wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news. General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cornelia's been kidnapped! So it looks like we're going to be fighting a double-edged war against the Federation and the... The Kidnapped? fucking Imperials. It can't be. Great. Yes. It was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. Oh. So the Federation takes her under their protection and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Verat, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I wonder if he was an Imperial spy or just an asshole. Like, it, that, saying he was a spy was... is confusing. In terms of what it actually means. Hey, Casey. What is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet. Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! That's... 
That's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Wee woo, wee woo. I'm gonna save so I don't have to go through all that schmuck again. Uh, seems like I was averaging like four saves per chapter. Okay. So we just went through like 15 minutes of menus and cutscenes. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Okay, so it is the Federation, it's not Imperials. The armored vehicle carrying the princess's head for the port at the southern end of the combat area. Spread out your soldiers and stop that vehicle. Okay, so there are two doors. Uh, your objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue Princess Cordelia. Use rifles and machine guns to strike the vehicle's weak point and bring it to a stop. Okay. Explosive weapons like tank cans, lances, and grenades are off limits. Okay. Letting that car reach either of the two points will mean allowing their escape. We can't let that happen. We've also got word that Federation Special Forces have been sighted in the area. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing Galleon uniforms, but they're real feds. Don't think twice about pulling those triggers. It's a dark night out there. You won't be able to get a visual on enemies past a certain distance. Stay sharp. Okay. So, I have to kill the engine, but I can't explode the car. Okay. So... Position units. I'll put Alicia here, because she's got quite a bit of movement. Who's... Okay, that's Welkin. Um... Uh, I'll put Rosie here, along with uh, um, I don't think snipers will do good right now, other than taking out people. So I'll put, oh god, but I'm not sure. Because I don't know where the enemies are going to be. Um, I'm just going to put another... Put Nancy there. Um, put Wendy there. I'll put Jane here. Because I want machine guns to do more damage. Okay, well, I mean... Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. Cool. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. Okay, so we do have a tank. But I can't use the explosives on the car. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Understood, Captain. Rox, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Okay. Or should we... Okay, so it's... There... So, I believe the car just moved to, like, the middle path. Um, Here we go. Can check. Wilkes, do you see the vehicle's headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. Keep advancing. Right, so 
that should be good. Uh, I'm gonna go with Alicia, scout out. God damn it. might come around over here. So I need to... I'm hoping I can just run up there and get rid of this guy. basically just be an obvious target for the Lance guy. But now now I can just shoot at the body and get rid of people in two shots. What are you doing? Don't stop. Go! Go! Golly and tank sighted ahead, sir. It's blocking the road completely. Clever little monkeys. We'll take another route. Hey, that's a militia model. I'm surprised that that uh, a princess would know that. Okay, so it seems like it can move one block per about equivalent to my mine. God. Okay. So. Okay, cool. And that's a Lancer. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna need to send someone up to try and take care of that Lancer. Um, wish I, kinda wish I only put scouts in. Okay, so the car's here, ish. And it's probably gonna go around out. So I need to move my tank that way, but before I do anything, uh, gonna try and kill this guy, because he is a direct risk to my tank being alive, so... This is my type of thing, where it's just like a grid. Um, but, luckily enough... Oh, okay, cool. Great. Uh, that's actually terrible. Fuck. Okay. I need to go get her. Okay, 
so that tank's not going to be able to come down. It's going to go over here. So... I need her to be in a place where she can come up behind it. She's safe there because the car can only move essentially one grid space. Blocked in again. They're testing my patience. Incoming relay, sir. The tank in our way has been identified as Militia Squad 7. The ones who attended the banquet. Just now luck to be spotted by glory hounds. Squad 7. Officer from the banquet? God. Now think about it. I have the order for, uh, whatchamacallit. Sweet summer child. Just thinking about it, I have the order for medic Mr. recovery, Master, but Allied units have reached their station, sir. I should have used it. I'm dumb. I forget about orders. <laughs> you don't get to be my age without learning to plan for contingencies. Reinforcements have appeared. Damn. They had backup waiting in the wings. Keep an eye on enemy positions when moving, Seven. So, first of all, I need to move the tank. Just. So, that's just something I have to do. My leg! They got my. Um. I don't see anyone. So. Her to come up. And the car's right there. Miss Medic! Yep. Okay. So now I'm gonna have her follow around. Like enemy God! Okay, gonna use this. I was not expecting it to literally just be a fucking tank. Okay, so that's facing down this way. It's going to move down. And then, okay, so I'm gonna move her. Uh, right here. Because if it moves down, down, then it'll be back. But if it moves down, towards this way, it'll still be back because it'll end up over there. And then hopefully it doesn't pivot or something. Like a legitimate asshole. God, I wish I had a couple more moves. So right now I'm limited to one tank movement. Okay, so that's an enemy. Presumably a scout, because that was a lot of distance. And that's presumably not a scout. Okay. That's probably a scout. Not a scout. Probably a shock trooper or a lancer. Probably a shock trooper or a lancer. So, as of right now, the car is presumably here. Go down, can be blocked here, which forces it out this way. But, Of 
God damn it. Okay. So, it's right there. God damn it. Like, that shock trooper got th fucking three full clips into me. And I can't tell if that... If it can fire behind it. Doesn't seem like it can. But it's right there. Now... It can fire to the side of it. So, I don't want to risk it. But I will come out with... So... It's in this direction. It's going to come down here. And probably through here. If I don't block it. Can come down. Uh, this is so complicated. Because um, I actually want to come through here. Because then I'll have a chance to get Rosie onto it. I'll do is I'll put this tank here. That's Jane. Report. What is the enemy up to there? Because I need to block it from the exits. And that's the imperative part. So it can't get here. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to just like put my tank here and block it if it decides to go all the way down. Uh, but what I will do is I'm gonna try with Nancy again. Oopsie, I dropped my bullets. Really? You just I don't know what that actually means. Here I go. Ugh. And I'll have to call in Alicia again. Because she'll give me another turn. a turn to do it. Okay. It's going down. There. Now it's going up. That's presumably the scout. That's going up. I'm also going to presume that's a scout. That's the shock trooper that I didn't kill. Fucking bitch. Forgot about him. Wait. There was a second shock trooper because I know I killed the one. Damn it. I don't have the people for this. <laughs> this actually sucks. Oh, and great. Catch me from behind. <sighs> nah. Die, die, die. Oh, come on. You couldn't have. First things first. This is my only outpost. Gotta call Alicia. And I'm gonna call in Largo for another move. I don't have to take Come Wendy. On. And Target sighted. Now attack the vehicle! From that range, might as well go for the headshot, simply because... Okay. Okay. And... I'm actually not gonna do anything, because she got all her health back. Um... I don't know where the car... I believe the car's here now? Depending on the, depending on what goes on. Um, oh God, it, it's so tough. Uh, I'm gonna leave it, save a move, and hope I can use it good enough. Okay, so that's going down. It's at D4. God damn it. Okay. So 
classes. Next turn, I'm going to be getting Alicia and Largo in. Which will give me two extra moves. Entering combat. Okay. That one now is right across from me. And it's going in that direction. So I'm going to my tank in this direction. Get the princess out of there safely. Too dark. I can't see anything. God. Yeah, there you go, bud. Can I fit through there? Is that not a fittable path? Yeah, I think I... I don't think I can go through there. That's why there's that X. I need to go out and around. So that... So, say I have... So next... Earth. God damn it, get on Alicia. Because I need to, need to get someone. Penetrating enemy lines. Enemy sighted. Please stay behind cover as you proceed. Okay. So I've got four things left. Much does healing request? Restores a set amount of one HP's ally. Can I use it on you? No. Damn, that's that's not what I thought it was. <sighs> Shit. Okay. That means I need to use you. I'm on it. I thought it was medic request, which I believe was offered to me at a prior one, but of course, you know, not having 6,100 XP just at hand, because, you know, I went to go level up my units first, like a normal character. Oh, God damn it. I didn't even see that scout. Um, okay, so I can't go this way. But I may be able to go this way. the end, so I should prioritize the game stuff. See, I wonder, like, where would I be if my, uh, if, uh, if uh, Alicia didn't, like, get taken out right at the beginning. Um, I'm gonna, gonna hold it there. I'm gonna try, I'm, I need to save as much CP as possible. Now, it's moving down to E4, and it's... Okay. It's running away. Oh my god. Die, die, die. Great, that scout's gonna kill Jane because got fucking like two crit shots. Which is ass tree. Unless they just decide not to use it. Nope, they used it. Great. Wow, that was lucky. Holy shit. I haven't gotten that lucky in a while. Hopefully no one attacks Jane. Cause... Wait. Oh god, I think I misread the X's. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, 
You're still good. Moving out. Enemy unit spotted. Okay. Man down. Everybody be careful. Okay. So I need to and I, I need to just unload into this thing. Armored vehicle sighted. So, oh, I think this means tanks can't pass through. Oh, shit, I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Yeah, tank is tank is dumb. My turn, okay. Which means I am now essentially stuck. Now. Okay, so this one seems to have like seven shots. Yeah, so th this is what I was curious about. Like, how much faster would I have been able to get through my stuff if I, uh... Check it out here. Is it a seven-shot gun? My turn, okay? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this, this map would have been over so much earlier if I wasn't stupid on that one... On like one of the first turns. Because there, I just finished it. <laughs> yeah. I I guarantee I could have gotten an A rank on this mission. If I wasn't stupid. Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. God. Uh I'm so dumb. Hell, I probably could have beat it before they got reinforcements. Your Highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's. Oh shit. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As scion of the Valkyrie. It is my fate to live and die for Galia's welfare. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can, just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. <sighs> Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say. And I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Y your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role, by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Uh. Wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia... Have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Oh, fucking cinnamon rolls? Love that shit. Here you are, your highness. Thank you kindly. 
That's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right. Let's get her highness back to the capital. God, how I wish I could retry that mission and... Because <laughs> that mission could have been like a five minute mission. Instead I made it a half hour mission. Because I suck at this game. Because I always... In my brain I always forget, oh yeah, enemy tanks and vehicles are so much more unfair. Because they hit you from the maximum distance. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still to understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Hey, how about you shut the fuck up? Borg. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? I know. You're executed? That'd be a good word. Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Galia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Bitch, safe is not in my lexicon. I run in with bullets flying. Fears of a patriot. Fear Tom Brady. Welkin, I'm coming in. Sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Fonio. Chapter 10, Liberation of Thousand. Cool. Decorations tab, what's that? About decorations. Meeting certain conditions as you proceed through the game may earn you decorations. You can view any awards you've earned in the decorations tab. Okay, cool. Go to audience hall via the headquarters tab where Prince could do it. Okay, so. Oh, God. Tab, decorations. Cool. 
And it doesn't tell me how to get these, but I believe these are probably just like in-game achievements. And she said she awaited me in the meeting hall, which I'm guessing you go to through the headquarters? Uh, yeah, audience hall. What's up? How have you been, Your Highness? Very well, Lieutenant Gunther. And all the better for seeing you again. I thank you again for the valor you showed in assisting me that night. Not at all. I was just relieved to see you were unharmed, Highness. It wasn't until I saw my friends gawk at that medal that I realized how special it was. <laughs> you truly are a rare individual. It is the duty of a nation to acknowledge and reward the loyal deeds of its people. Medals and trinkets are the only form we have, but we ask that you wear them proudly. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, Your Highness. I think you could pay me. I feel like money would be a pretty good, uh, thing. I hear your accomplishments do not end with that knight's bravery, either. The stories of your accomplishments suggest I owe you a great deal more. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Cool. Highness, it's an honor. Indeed. She just said it was an honor. Yay, got a medal. The Lance of Gallia. And heart. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. Okay, so you just go there, there's no menus or whatnot, she just gives you the things. Which is pretty nice. Uh, so, I'll do the XP and the uh, R&D. Then I guess I'll call it there for the episode. So I could get, I believe that the snipe, I believe every class elites at 11. Um, but if I'm going to be averaging like over 20,000 per, I would rather do one in the shock trooper, get them just generally better. Um, and then uh, get these guys' levels just up. Because as they are right now, they're next to useless in terms of levels. Okay, so now we have 8,000. I could level them both up again another time. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to level this one up, level this one up, both up again, and put XP into Sniper. That way, when it gets to the time... Okay. You okay. For... New order. All units defend. That's actually pretty good. Especially if I... Except I never remember to use orders. I should, though. If I'm, if I'm thinking I'm going to be taking some heavy beating, I should probably uh, start remembering better. Yes. Okay, so that was pretty good. Um, I am curious as to what the decorations were. So, given to, like, just story one. Uh, okay, deleted. Okay, so the elite officers, uh, I believe, are the, like, named ones, maybe? Or they're just elite units. Uh, which I did in the, uh, the scout trial, because the scouts in that one essentially are put equal level to the scouts you have, so they are also elites. Given to a soldier wounded in the line of duty, it stands among Gallia's all son. Okay, so this is uh, just res someone, or res multiple people. Uh, it's not anything super amazing. <laughs> or not even res, just uh, don't let them die. Which I have done pretty damn good at. So, let's go back to episodes. Ugh. And in the next episode, I will do this chapter, I guess, which, or at least do part of it, because it seems like it has two maps in it. So, I will see you guys later. I hope you all have a very nice day.